Now guys, in this video, I'm gonna be talking to you, explaining the differences, what's the difference between an epiphytic cactus and a desert cactus. Now I've always been asked this question and I'm always explaining it and I just think it's far easier I make a video and clear it up once and for all with everyone. Now the differences with an epiphytic cactus and a desert one is they are very, very different. Now the most common cause, so the most common types of um, epiphytic cacti are the Christmas and the Thanksgiving cacti and also the Ripsalis cacti. I'll show you in the background these, all the ones hanging up, these are epiphytes. And the reason why they're called epiphytic cacti is because they actually like to, they usually see them growing in the um, tropical rainforests and they like a lot more humidity and a lot more moisture than the desert cacti do. And the desert cacti you'll see growing in very arid regions in the world, like places like Arizona and parts of California, where there's very little rainfall. And these plants obviously like to be kept very dry, dry atmosphere and dry um, soil that they're growing as well. And they store water in their plant bodies. And um, a bit like, uh, I always call them the camels of the plant world. And that lasts them for many, many months without water. But with epiphytes, they're the complete opposite. You often see them growing with orchids as well in the tropical rainforests. They like high humidity, warmer temperatures and regular watering. And yet they're all called cacti. So obviously, you know, when somebody says, I've got a cactus, they automatically think that it has to be kept dry. Oh, you don't, you never water a cactus. That's it, you just leave it and forget about it. But nothing can be further from the truth. And if you've gone out and you, you're really not familiar with the difference between epiphytic and desert cacti, and you go out, for example, and you buy, um, like this one is commonly called the Thanksgiving cactus, Sclumbagira truncata, um, and you think, oh, it's a cactus, you don't have to water it, it would die within, um, certainly within a few months. Even, even a rainforest cactus does store water in its stems because they're epiphytes and they grow hanging from trees in the tropical rainforest and they do sometimes go without water, um, but they, they never, never go very long without water. So obviously they wouldn't last long term if you just went months without watering them. And desert cacti, as you can see here, um, they store the water in their big bodies and they go many, many, if I never watered this cactus again, it would probably go two years without even dying. The, the roots might shrivel a bit and it might shrivel, but it's not gonna die. So then how do you know which one you've got? Well, it's actually pretty easy to tell the difference between the two. But again, if you're not familiar, it, it, you just think, oh, a cactus is a cactus. Now, with the epiphytic cactus, as I've explained, they grow in tropical rainforests. They like high humidity, and they certainly like regular watering. And I'll show you some examples of what is an epiphytic cactus. So when you're out and about and you're going shopping for cacti, you know what the difference is. Now, epiphytes are more like um, normal type of, I say normal plants, more leafy. And um, I'll show you this one here. This is commonly called the, um, nicknamed the zigzag cactus. And um, it's an epiphyllum. And look at that, it's beautiful leaf arrangements on this. It's beautiful. And this is a, is a rainforest one. And the epiphyllums are quite easy to tell the difference because they have long stems. And they do resemble a lot more like normal house plants. And uh, the most common one is a lot you'd be very familiar with is obviously the Christmas and the Thanksgiving cactus, the, the um, Sclumbagira, and also the Easter cacti, the Ripsalidopsis, that look very similar, except that they do flower in the April time, the March and April around the Easter time. And these are again, are more, more leaf-like flat leaves arrangements. And they do resemble a lot more like normal house plants. And they don't tend to have spines, although the, the reason why they are still cacti, even though they're epiphytic, is because they do contain areoles. I think that's how you pronounce it. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. Areoles. Um, and think, what the hell is an areole? It's actually a tiny, tiny little um, hole where spines or tufts of hair comes out. And that's what separates a cactus to a succulent. So a lot of people think because they're leafy, um, epiphytes, they're more succulents. And of course, as you know, all cacti are succulents, but not all succulents are cacti. So in this case, um, if you've got a leafy plant like this and there's very little uh, signs of spines at all and um, it's lots of uh, stems like this, it's pretty much an epiphytic cactus. And I'll show you a few different examples here. 
Um, this one also is a Rip Salis, um, which again is an epiphyte, has loads of little hanging pendant stems here, beautiful. And I'll show you the example at the back as well, there's another one here. As you can see, they do look very different, there's another one there, very different to the normal desert cacti, which I'm going to show you in a minute. And um, these again, keep regularly watered and they like higher humidity. And I've actually made a separate video on how to care for epiphyllum cacti. And the care in that would also cover epiphytes in general. So links up above to that video, guys, if you haven't seen it, do check it out because it goes into a lot more detail in how you can look after epiphytic cacti. So I'll leave that for that video there and check it out, guys. But um, that's an example there. And there's also the um, common uh, dragon fruit cactus, the Hylosocereus here. Um, as you can see, this one here, very long sort of stems hanging down. It's quite a wacky cactus. And a lot of you may be familiar with the dragon fruit fruit. There's a bigger one here as well that um, a lady I know actually grew this from seed. Isn't it remarkable? Hanging basket. Again, another epiphyte. They don't like to go too long without uh, not being watered. And um, they're like higher temperatures in general and certainly a lot more humidity. But again, you know, cacti are very, very adjustable. And the um, rainforest cacti can cope with drier conditions than if it was the other way around with the desert cacti with more damper conditions because they don't like damp. So that's the epiphytes. And as I say, check out that video up above on how to care for them. Now, the, the desert cacti, so how do you know if you've got a desert cactus? Well, the most obvious one is everyone thinks it has to be a desert a cactus because it's got spines and this this one here is actually my um uh, uh, sorry my um astrophytum a bit of a word that astrophytum um ornatum capricorni <laughs> what a name and um it's got very big spines beautiful beautiful cactus here it's got beautiful little tiny little white markings all over it and it's very spiny and obviously it's pretty obvious to look at that that's a desert cactus and i don't obviously i keep it completely dry during this time of year i won't be watering that now probably till the april time when certainly not till the, the march middle of march april when it starts warming up a bit and then it all starts coming out alive this one as well is also an astrophyte and it's an astrophytum nudum nude and the reason why it's called astrophytum nudum mini nude is because it has no spines so again as i say people just automatically think it has to be a cactus because it's got spines but in this case this one has no spines and it's still a cactus, as do a lot of the Lophophora and some of the other plants as well, cacti, that don't have spines. So it doesn't always mean, oh, that's it, it, it's, it that it's not what is a cactus. And um, again, it has the little areoles all on it, which makes it a cactus, separates it from a succulent. But that's another whole, whole video again, guys. I won't even go into that. So stay tuned for a future video on what is an areole and um, how to know if, if you've got a succulent or a cactus. And I'll just show you, they've got a few different examples of cacti again. This one is the very common um, Opuntia, a micro daisies, very common plant. And again, instead of spines, it has tiny, tiny, what they call glow kids. Um, and it's very pretty to look at and it looks like it's very soft. You just want to stroke it. But my God, I'm not kidding you. If you glow kids, once you get them onto your skin, oh, they, you cannot get them out. They're a nightmare. So although it looks soft and furry, they are spiny. Again, it's quite easy to tell that that's a desert cactus by its appearance. And um, obviously the big fleshy stems on it and uh, the numerous little spines. So that's really all it is to it. Again, desert cacti. Um, completely different growing conditions entirely. Epiphytes like to be kept, I'm just running over it again, just, epiphytes like to be kept uh, moist, higher humidity in general, but they will take also arid conditions to a point and um, regular watering, even during the winter, I wouldn't let them go long, long period without water. I keep mine sort of watered lightly, but again, I've done a separate video on how to care for that, so I won't go into that. And the desert cacti, I will keep them totally dry, entirely so, sort of from like the beginning of October, right up until the, the middle of March, possibly even April, depending on the weather. And uh, that's the difference with them. So I hope you found that useful, guys. And I've actually checked out, I've got a, a link, a link, sorry, I've put the link probably up down below to um, an article I've done on my website that actually goes into a bit about cacti, how to tell the difference between, des uh, sorry, a cactus and a succulent, and I mentioned about epiphytes in there. And um, I hope that's cleared it up for you guys then. I want to send you loads of love, heaps of happiness, and tons and tons of cactus power. 
as always from Ireland and until my next video guys